This is a quick video to show you how to program a blue box kiln. This is going to be for a glaze firing of white earthenware bisque. So we'll assume that we've loaded all our um, all our glaze pieces into the kiln. We then need to close the door, put the little latch over and the ratchet down. That needs to be tight because there's a, a switch in here which senses whether the door is closed or not. And if the door is open, the kiln won't start firing. So obviously make sure the kiln is plugged in and switched on. Then what we can see on the controller at the moment is we're reading room temperature, which in here at the moment is 17 degrees. So if we press cycle, and then if we go into step to check the various steps of this firing we can see that that first figure 01.30 is telling us that it will take one and a half hours in the first segment of the firing so that's the first time in the program one and a half hours press step and that's the temperature that it will be going to in that time. So that's 150 degrees. And then the second step in the firing is one hour up to 250 degrees. Now all of these I've preset um, into the computer. Obviously you can change by pressing the up or the down arrow to however long you want it to take to whatever temperature uh, well not whatever temperature the kiln is capable of going to it has a maximum range obviously so we press step again so one hour up to 450 two and a half hours up to 650 three and a half hours up to its final temperature of 980 degrees now if we press step again that will say it's done that's the end of the firing but if we if we want it to hold at that top temperature if we put in an amount of time let's say 10 minutes and then press step and we'll leave the temperature at the same temperature that the previous step was at so it's going to spend 10 minutes going to 980 and it's already at 980 so it's just going to hold there okay so that is the end of the firing if we press step again it comes back to the room temperature press start and it's telling us that's cycle one which is the program we've just been reviewing press start and you'll see cycle one is now activated and now firing and you can hear the kiln buzzing that is the uh the, the elements inside the kiln chamber vibrating as the power goes courses through them and we just need to make sure that obviously before we install the kiln we have it in a non-combustible area concrete floor um, non-combustible walls, fire doors in a well-ventilated space. So this that firing will take around about nine and a half hours to get to temperature. Once it's reached temperature, the kiln then needs to naturally cool down. And if it's taken nine and a half hours to get to temperature, you can assume it's going to take a similar amount of time to cool down before you can Un, uh, unlock the kiln and get to the pieces inside and throughout the whole firing you'll see the temperature on the display will tell you what um, what's going on inside the chamber so you'll know when you can safely get into the chamber by checking the temperature now a kiln like this has a very thick wall so it's going to hang on to the temperature it's a very efficient piece of equipment so it does take a long time for it to cool down now interestingly the kiln has stopped buzzing 
And that is perfectly normal. That's because it's regulating when it's coming on and when it's going off, depending on what you've told it to do. If we'd asked it to go up to temperature really quickly, so if we'd said take 10 minutes to go to 1,000 degrees, which it can't do, obviously, but the, the kiln wouldn't have switched off. The stage it's at at the moment, we've asked it to take one and a half hours to go to 150 degrees. So it's come on and it's got to where it is now, 33 degrees, and it's decided to, to just switch off for a moment or two. And then it will come back on and you'll hear the relays click back on again. That's perfectly normal. There you are.